Hey everyone, just recording for my workout video today. Um, I do apologize. Uh, there was one video um, where I altered the, um, I don't know, like saturation or effects um, when I was doing my sissy squats. And it's just because um, I had a little bit of a, a camel toe incident and I didn't, uh, that ain't my style. So, um, and no matter what I did, um, I couldn't seem to hide it very well. But um, I didn't want to exclude that uh, part from the video because it was an exercise that I haven't uh, really put on my channel before and uh, I really wanted to include it. Um, so I did my very best to kind of shadow. <laughs> I'm talking about this for too long. I did my very best to shadow <clears throat> that area. But I won't put a very long clip of it in. Um, so you're welcome to please, uh, please divert your eyes. Um, or just look elsewhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, I tried to change things up today, um, just to kind of see if I could fiddle around with some things to maybe make it, uh, more intense in different ways. Sometimes if you're fiddling, you can't just right out the bat be like, yes, this will work and this will be intense. Sometimes there's a little bit of a process involved. So I feel like some things weren't super intense today and I kind of feel guilty about that. Um, but I think it's just all in my head sometimes. I don't know if it's hormonal or if it's stress or anxiety related. I just feel like I can't possibly work out hard enough. Like no matter what I do, it's not enough. It's not hard enough. And that I get a little bit like discouraged. Oh, I didn't do enough and I'm not going to reach my goals and all this kind of stuff. And then it's like almost like the stress or something gives me like superhuman energy temporarily. And that's why I kind of feel guilty because it's like I can just do more and more and more and um but then it like after it hits me like a like a, a, a brick truck and uh and I feel really, really tired. So because the truth is is I probably am working quite hard, but uh, in the moment just trying to release stress or what have you, um it feels like I'm just not doing enough. Um but I mean I recognize that and I think that even just tinkering around with the stuff I did today gave me a pretty good workout. But there were some times when I just felt like, is this failure? I don't know, or am I just crapping out? Um I don't, I don't like that. There are certain things where there's just no question. It's very, very easy to determine failure uh, on like doing lateral raises because you literally can't lift your arms anymore. It's very easy to determine that. Um, but when you're doing other things that are maybe you need to be a little bit safer um, or, or certain other things are getting tired uh, and so you crap out at that instead of like the actual muscle. Um, Anyway, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I lost my train of thought. Um, it was a good workout. It just, there were some things where I felt like, hmm, I think I maybe had a couple more reps in me. Um, but I'm at the stream of a long series of workouts. This is my fifth workout in a row. Um, just because of the way my shifts are, I really wanted to work out on all of my days off um, so that I wouldn't have to try to cram in work workouts on some of my 12 hour days or what have you. I just, plus I just thought, what, what the hell? I, I'm awake. It's five in the morning. I'm awake and I don't have to work. What am, am I going to do? So I just kept uh, working out. So I'm at the stream of quite a few days. Um, and uh, I honestly woke up. I just thought, I don't know how my legs are going to do any of this, but then I ended up doing like a ton of crap. So uh, yeah. Oh, that's, oh yeah. That's why I was going to explain why I feel just a little bit stressed um, because I just have, uh, I have too many days off uh, for this stretch and then I won't have enough days off for my next stretch um, because I'm just getting into my shift rotation or I'm getting off the training rotation and I'm getting into the uh, into the actual shift rotation uh, so I'm not I'm gonna miss out on my usually it's four days on uh, four off or two days two nights four off um, I'm gonna miss out on the off part uh, for uh, just a stretch and then it'll get into normal. So I'm just a little bit stressed out about that uh, because I'm going to be tired. <laughs> and uh, I just feel like I'll, I'll just miss some of my cozy bedtime. Uh, just me and my fuzzy things in my bed. I just won't get enough of that. And uh, I'll just, just a little, feel a little bit stressed about it. That's okay. I will end. Uh, and I marked the day on my calendar when it will end and everything will go normal. And I put a little heart on that day because that's going to be... Uh, a self-love day and just by that i mean i'm just gonna let myself be lazy usually um i'm not very good at being lazy uh and i always feel like i have to accomplish a ton of stuff and do a ton of stuff so i just felt like you know, on that day you're gonna be dog tired all you have to do is work out and then you can do whatever you want so that's why i put that little heart there 
and uh, that's how I'm going to take care of myself on that day. And I actually, just thinking about that, uh, I just realized what I actually wanted to talk about during this voiceover. So good thing I have a lot of video clips to put in here because I still have more to talk about. So this is something, I'm just wondering how other people feel about this. Maybe other people that are lifters and uh, if you're single or um, you're on the dating scene. Um, how much do you care if the person that you're with or your partner or whoever you want to get involved with, how much do you care if they lift or if they work out? And my big thing was like, well, I mean, I don't care. Um, it'd be cool. It'd be nice to share that. Um, but if they don't, as long as they are okay with me doing it and never try to, um, I don't know, uh, deter me from uh, my routine or uh, I guess guilt me into going out for dinner if I don't feel comfortable doing that uh, or if there's any kind of like nagging like, oh, just don't go today, just stay in bed, blah, blah. It depends on if there's any of that. If there's none of that and it's just like encouragement for this passion, then I mean, I don't care. Um, but that's rare, um, very rare. And I was thinking about this because I was... Um, talking to someone on online dating and uh they unmatched me because i said i didn't like camping and i flat out i brought it up because their profile said they like camping i was like do you care if i don't like camping and it was like oh my god how could you how could you not like camping <laughs> there's nothing i hate more <laughs> i'm sorry there's nothing i hate more as somebody that's uh pretty ocd about showering and whatnot um there's nothing I would hate more than camping, but then they unmatched me and they didn't want uh, anything further to do with me. And um, I find it very, very hard, I guess, one, to ever meet people that even sort of share uh, my lifestyle. I mean, no, you don't have to be full blown like I am, where it's like dialed down to um, kind of every you know corner of my life. Um, no, uh, you don't have to be that way, but I don't even meet it's really hard to meet people that share the lifestyle at all in terms of like a healthy lifestyle, um, not too much liquor or cannabis consumption, um, or care about eating healthy food, like don't want to go out for wings uh, on days off, um, don't want to sit around and binge watch shows, like want to be active and do stuff. So even just those little facets of it, uh, I find it very rare. It just seems like, why is everybody, I don't want to be mean, why does everybody seem so like unmotivated or lazy and even lazy to make a relationship where you know you match and then it's too much energy or effort to try to develop anything and it's just like this all-around like lazy attitude for uh kind of every aspect of it and i just i don't know oh no oh, water's running uh whoa i don't know if you guys can hear that <laughs> i guess my kid is doing something anyway uh I lost my train of thought. I better go in a different place. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, it's just kind of discouraging. And I can be attracted to a lot of different people. Um, all kinds of appearances and uh, personalities. Um, with a good sense of humor, I get attracted to that. But there's something like, something about laziness. Um, I just can't deal with the laziness thing. I think it's because it's too polar opposite to my life and um so i was just kind of wondering how people feel about you know, not not uh meeting people that you're compatible with because you value this lifestyle so much and this lifestyle rewards you um in so many different ways and that other people don't care that much about any of these things and that therefore do not understand and don't want to be with you because um I guess they feel, well, that's not fun. <laughs> I guess the same, oh, she doesn't drink. She doesn't go for dinner. Uh, she doesn't want to sit around and uh, be stoned and watch, I don't know, Will Ferrell movies on Netflix or whatever. Um, that's no fun. I don't know. Uh, just, where's all the motivated people, I guess? I don't speak that as like, oh, holier than now, I'm better than everybody. It's just uh, a mismatching of, um, of personalities, and I don't know where other people like this are, um, where are they lurking? Oh, you know where they're lurking? They're all in committed, wonderful relationships because they're great people and <laughs> they're high value people and I uh, don't fall into that category or whatever. Um, I guess, so that's where they are. Where are they? They're taken. They're at home with their wives, not on disgusting dating apps. Uh, that's where they are. Oh, okay. Well, I answered my own question. So thanks for watching my workout video and bye.